Hey there guys, happy Thursday. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, I was gonna show you guys kind of the new technique that I'm doing with the little wooden pieces. Um, I'm only doing one, but I'll explain to you why I have, why I have three on here. Um, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using a stencil. Um, I'm gonna be using this stencil. Um, and so I'll explain to you why there's three. But first off, let me just show you. Um, what I do first for the base color, you can use paint if you want. I just use this big Sharpie. Um, that's if you want black. I have done, um, I have some metallic paint markers that I've used as a background. So like a gold background or a copper pack background, which is really cool. But like I said, you can use acrylic paint. This is just kind of quick to just use a black Sharpie. <laughs> and it makes a nice flat, um, a nice flat surface to work on. And it's just quick, see? So there you go, big king size Sharpie. Um, I am gonna do the back and the sides, but not until I am done with resin and everything else. So I have my black square now. That is my palette. And um, one thing that I did learn that I'm going to pass on to you is if you use a stencil on a raised object like this and you just go in, so you put your stencil on like this and then you want to hold it down like that, it creates an arch. So you have all these spaces that are exposed and when you go to put your paint on, it gets under those spaces and it does not work. Um, it looks terrible and it just doesn't work um, because you might as well have not even even used the stencil at that point so what I discovered is if you put something the same size on each side put your stencil down and then hold it on those sides this now is a flat surface so your stencil stays well whatever goes on there is perfect and lovely and wonderful and there you have it so, little piece of wisdom for you today. Okay, the colors I'm going to use are this turquoise, white, and copper. And I'm just going to put little blobs of each on this little piece of paper, cardstock that I have here, my palette, whatever you want to use. These are just acrylic paints. Uh, this one is Arteza, this copper. And this came out of a, a big set that I have, which is um, on my in, in my Amazon store. Um, and then these I just bought separately. They're both Liquitex. Those are all brands that I like. But literally, I mean, acrylic paint is acrylic paint. I kind of feel like, especially when you're working this small, like if you were doing some big masterpieces or something, then you might want to do something a little different. All right, so I'm going to find where I want. I kind of like that area. So I'm going to hold that down. I'm going to move this over and smear my turquoise. Okay, so I'm going to get a little bit of each for the first little bit. And I'm just going to dab that all over. Just so you kind of have a mix of all of the colors in that base. Just kind of dab, 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 dab. Okay. Even though it looks like I mostly got blue. But then I'm going to go in and like with the copper, I'll take an area and make it a little more dense copper. And then the white, make it a little more dense white. And then the turquoise. Just to give it a little bit of something. I'm gonna make a little bit more copper right there and maybe right there. So just kind of look at it to see maybe how it's gonna look. 
where you might want to add some color or a little white with that blue. Okay. All right, I think I'm going to like that. So then just carefully lift it off. And you will have, make sure you wipe off your stencil. And then it got a little schmutzed, but that's okay. But this is how it looks. If you guys can see that. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry for a minute. I'm actually going to use my heat gun to dry it off. It's right here. Okay, so that's dry. The heat gun is always wonderful. And then we'll just go ahead and resin it and do how we normally do. So, you don't have to resin this. You could throw some of the, um, the crystal clear on there and just have it be like this, which would be gorgeous also. But I am, I'm going to go ahead and resin this one. Um, and then I'll show you, I'm just going to do um, the sides in the back with the Sharpie um, after it has been resined. So I'm going to resin it. And I don't know why I'm not using my mat. Now it's not sticking at all. Need to use another mat. Jeez. Okay. I always like mixing in metallics. Um, with my uh, regular just pastel colors um, because it just makes them pop. So this, if I'm not, yeah, I can't see. But this definitely makes it pop. So if you can see, let me just get that air bubble out. See, big one right there in the middle. Okay. Okay. Let me just turn this because I don't have my magnifier and I can't see if I got all the way to the edge. Okay, looks like I did. All right, so that's how it looks going into the light, Carolyn. And I'm going to put that in for about two minutes and then I'll be right back. So I'm going to put you on pause. Okay. So I let that in for about two minutes. And that is how it looks. It's so pretty. I mean, it just looks like a tiny little work of art. It's really pretty, you guys. Um, I like this better than the past couple ones that I've done. So I'm just going to wipe it off real quick. I keep my baby wipes over here. Like always just if anything seems sticky or whatever just kind of wipe it down all 
Okay. So for that, if you want, um, we're just going to sharpie the back too. So literally just sharpie the back. <laughs> That's all that needs to be done. And I'm going to do the sides as well. But it just kind of makes it look finished. Um, and I love framing out the, um, the edges. Because that really makes it look finished. If you don't do the back, at least do the edges. So, this is how we're looking now, with the edges, back, and then you're just going to glue your bail on and that's it. So, you guys have seen me do the bail now several times, I guess I can show you again if I must. You've probably already turned it off anyway, I'm talking to myself over here. Um, you can find everything. I'll have my link tree in the description. Uh, check the Amazon store for everything that I'm using because it's all there. And um, join my Happy Place Facebook group. We have fun over there. Everybody's so nice and kind and wonderful. And it's just a great group. So just put on your bail and then off you go. Do I like that? I think I like that. So there you go. We'll leave that for a little bit. And then that's it. You're all set. You can wear it in an hour. This, drew, this glue dries really, really quickly. This is the B7000. And it comes in a pack of three. It's pretty inexpensive. So I like it. It works fast and works well. All right, guys. You will see me next week. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend this weekend. Bye.